Hello everybody. It is, yes I started talking. <laughs> the shock on her face then. Um, it is Monday the 3rd of August today and it's actually 5 to 4 that I'm starting to film this. I've been doing a little bit of work but I've got a little something something to open here with you. And I haven't been sat in my dressing gown all day. I'm actually dressed but um, I've been a little bit cold but the sun's come around to the back of the house now so it's a little bit warmer so let's get this off. Okay I have just got on my, my watch is going off, um, <laughs> what is this? From ASOS. This is an ASOS dress that I just have on. I've put an express tan on today and um, hmm. I don't normally use this one and I wasn't that, what is he building across the, across the way? And I don't normally use this one and I think I'm going to do a whole video on tanning. I spent a long time this morning typing up some tanning tips for you guys if you're interested and I really wanted to try this one out before I like before I told you my tried and true favorite sorry that's a very loud motorbike going up the road um yeah so it's actually it's a nice color like the guide color this one however it didn't go on as well as the one I normally use so um excuse me so loud outside but I've had a little bit of a move around in here so um I mean I can't really do anything <laughs> with this area over here but I have finally framed my picture I'm not really sure where to put that up on the wall we have new curtains um, it's actually two pairs of curtains that I have um, tacked together at the top so this is the first pair both of these are from Ikea by the way and love the sort of herringbone stitch in this and then this one over the top which is kind of like a linen colour and it's um, quite see-through so I wanted to have this slightly darker colour over the top of this one and all I've done at the very top is just sort of um, tacked them, not tacked them because I haven't sewn them but I've um, pinned them together at the top so that I get this kind of look, kind of like a two, yeah, can't really understand but I like it. And I also have these, these were also from Ikea and it's very dark right here, let's put you here. Um, so here you can see in the light, obviously I need to iron them but these were Ikea, the the um, the cushion cover I think was like £1.75 I think and the inner was £1.50 all the other way around, I'm not quite sure but I just thought nice neutral tones that would look, would look nice wherever I put them. We have this messy area over here that I'm not really sure what to do with and this is Luna's pen because Luna likes pens so that's your pen down there, okay? Your pen. So I have just popped my desk here. Um, yeah, you know, anyway. But I have, over the past sort of few months, um, been doing so much shopping in lockdown that there's little things over the past couple of months that I haven't shared with you kind of like since my Zara haul and my kitchen like organization haul that I need don't put your clothes in there and um, I just thought oh my gosh I should do a big like cumulative haul and please bear in mind that all of this shopping was done before we realized we need to do another fertility round because the last one did not work. So there is no more shopping. I need to be good because we have got lots and lots of um, saving to do for the next one. It's a little bit dark right here, but I think we're okay. Um, but one of the things that I bought was this from Miranda Fry and it's called the Lindsay chain and I've been looking at this for such a long time and it's so so pretty um, and you just 
from Miranda Fry, you buy the chains and then you buy the charms separate. So we've got um, this chain and then we have got this little dove, I believe it is. And I think doves are supposed to be for like hope and peace. And I wanted something that was kind of um, symmetrical <laughs> um, because that's how I like things. Uh, yeah, so I picked up this and hopefully, you know, hope for love and peace in the future. And then, lots of you ask me about, I need to put you down somewhere, lots of you ask me about my bracelets. So um, if you are one of these people, I will tell you right now where the bracelets are from. But uh, this one is my mum's Tiffany bangle. So this is something that was given to her when she used to work in New York. Uh, when she was young, she was a nanny and this was given to her by the family and this is from Tiffany's, I can't remember if I told you that, so she's handed that down to me. This then is a knockoff <laughs> Cartier bracelet that is, um, when did we get this? Two years ago or three years ago? Off a little stall in basically just on the side of the road where they had like marketplaces and I really wanted a gold bangle and obviously admired that one and this one is just still in quite good condition may I say um so I wear these every day I the inside is maybe tarnishing a little bit but I know you can buy these on Amazon for quite cheap if you're looking for I don't normally promote knockoff things but that lasting me very well but yeah this is the second purchase then from Miranda Fry that um I absolutely love and this is called the somewhere lately bracelet <laughs> couldn't get that out and whilst we're here oh I've got another charm I got the Zion charm as well um to I don't know if she can use it. get off please we don't play on the leather okay okay um and you may have seen my necklace that I wear every single day and <laughs> don't take off. You want to be on the camera? Yes? No? Hi? Um, yeah, I basically wear it in the shower and I know you're not supposed to. Um, but it is, I want to say, 14 karat gold plated on 95 silver and this is from Etsy and it's so tiny it's a cubic zirconia it's not a diamond I know sad times <laughs> um but I bought this not this exact one but I bought this one two years ago and um quite a few of you messaged me about this one as well so I will start linking all of my jewellery um below for you as well so that if you're ever interested in something it's linked below um but it was just starting after two years of me constantly wearing it to sleep in the shower when I've got tan on like constantly <laughs> and it was just starting after two years to go silver and I wanted the gold version again so I have basically repurchased because I loved it so much from the same Etsy seller this tiny little necklace which I love um finally as we're talking about jewelry this is um Lydia inspired and um, this is my apple watch which is the 44 it's series three so it's quite old um but the watch is from amazon the watch strap it was really cheap i want to see it was like 13 pounds um and then the cover because this is a gold watch and it just came with like it didn't come with it i bought it sorry um a little flexible cover here that was like i want to say about five pounds and i've had this for quite a while now and they just slip on and off here you press the little button um, yeah, but love that as well. Um, I've got so, so much, so much to show you that I thought I could just take you around the house and we can look at everything that, um, we have bought. But I think first, first, we talked about like the curtains and things, but I really want to show you. Ooh, 
to be in this order, obviously, because I can open it as well. Um, but I have received something that I've chosen that I can't wait to show you. It's jewellery and um, amazing. So, yeah, I think that will be either the next video or the video after. Um, this, though, got this from Sainsbury's. And I find it hard to find a plain white candle that's a big one, like a three wick one, that um, isn't ridiculously overpriced. And this one was from Sainsbury's. It's an energizing one and um, oh, it smells really yummy. Does it say underneath? I like the top as well. There we go. See if underneath if it says what it is. Does it say what it is? Nope. Burn time 50 hours though. That's pretty, pretty impressive, guys. Okay, I popped you up on my Alex drawers so that we can have a look into this intimissimi order. Just seeing what the packaging is. <laughs> Recyclable. We love it. So, I am long, long overdue. A, what's the word? And do a refresh. That's a bit brighter, isn't it? Um, and I've realised that unless I'm wearing a black top, I only wear nude under nude coloured underwear. So um, I needed some more underwear solutions, shall we say, um, that are sort of that you can't see. That's what I want to say. So basically. That's all I bought. I bought three bras, three bottoms. Um, so I bought three of the little thongs and <laughs> I'm gonna that way. I'll put it on the floor for you. Okay. Make a hole at the other end. Not that you're gonna get stuck. No. But just in case, you've got a little breathing hole. Children, in fact, should not play with that. It's not plastic, though, but... Louie! Luna! Chewing your fish. Say bye now! Well, that worked, didn't it? Um, yeah, so these are three of the same thongs, pants, whatever they're called. I got this in a size 2, which is a US small. Um, I don't know if these are going to fit me mind, I need to pop them on first. But the reason I wanted them is because I picked up from, was it from Aloe Yoga? Some that were really, really similar to this. And that's my pen, your pen is on the floor. Go get it. Um, yeah, and I basically, I end up wearing them all the time because they're so comfortable. These feel very small. I don't know if these are going to fit me. These are very, very small. I mean, they stretch, but I don't want to. And they are basically, basically nothing. That's what they are. You're paying for nothing, guys. No, they're, they're really, they're seamless ones. Um, I shouldn't have given them that back, should I? At least she's happy. Um, yeah, so they're seamless. So these are going to look, um, these are going to look great. So I might try those on this evening. Not with you guys, because that's not what we do on this channel. Um, but I have got three of those, same size, so hopefully they fit. Um, and then we have got three bras. So the first one is a triangle bra. I think one of them was called the Lara bra. Is that this one? I don't know. Um, I wanted a really comfy one because I only wear underwired ones. So I wanted a comfortable, yet nice looking bra. If that makes any sense at all so this one we have which doesn't look great let's put a picture of the lady on the screen that looks nice in it because this does not look great when i hold it up um for some reason i just really like the little stitching as well um and ah and it's got four like lots of can't speak guys i'm annoying myself four lots of let's think what they're called clips Four sets of clips in the back instead of your usual three. So yeah, that is nice, not underwired. Kind of a triangle bra that um, will still cover a little bit. I have to 
show you her. Is that comfy? Are you comfy? Are you having the time of your life? Don't buy cat toys. Don't buy cat toys anyone. Just buy boxes and paper bags apparently. I need to do the carpet again because um, some little bunny had a little accident on there. Where were we? Yeah, so I will try that one on. Then the next one I've got in a slightly darker colour. I don't believe they have the light one available. Um, but this is a triangle bra that isn't underwired, but it's got a little bit more structure to it than the one beforehand. Um, yeah, so it looks like this. this is the same colour as my top ish. Um, yeah, so just no sort of padding in it at all because I don't like padded bras, I just want like a structure to it. Um, so we will try that on and then the final one we have is the one that is a strapless bra because my strapless bra is underwired and horrible so let's look at this one um, ooh, what's this come with straps well, oh no it comes with a an extra extender how does that work wow guys so it's got the normal extender on it but then it comes with an extra extender so if you get extra fat for example if we were lucky enough to get pregnant and I just grew, then I could put an extender on. Loving life. But yeah, saw this one with a few influences and thought, oh, that is pretty good. So again, it's not padded, um, but it is structured. No underwiring. So I'm excited to put that one on. This one's kind of like, stops here and then this goes onto your chest so that's where some more of the support comes because I'm definitely not that large <laughs> not that gifted guys and um, so let's leave that there and let's continue this tour around the house of things that Lisa's been wasting her money on um, oh let's basket okay basket so this bathroom needs a big clean i understand okay if you can see anything i apologize however we've been <laughs> i've got nowhere to put my toilet rolls and it used to live this is my washing as well okay stuff needs to happen in this house um used to have these toilet rolls out here in a basket and i was like ugh, it's annoying if you've got to change it then you've got to come out here yeah, so we're getting a large basket of that. So it's taller and it's longer, so it fits under there. You can't see the toilet rolls, but um, it will go nice with the bathroom. So yeah, it will be, it will be nice. Then as we enter Bunny Kingdom, we have a sleepy, sleepy Peter in the corner and a little Pierre here, hi. Your um, cage is being changed clean tomorrow. Are you excited? You come and have a run around. You need a brush. You look like you need a brush, boys. Yeah, you do. Still loving the upstairs they are. Extra room for snacks. I'm pretty sure I showed you these. I can't remember if I did. It's become a mess already. But yeah, um, these hold like my underwear in them. Um, from Amazon, I'll link those as well because they are pretty great, if I do say so myself. So this is the colour of the same necklace that I have on. Um, that is still gold, but it's gold of kind of going a bit silver. So I'm not sure if you can see in comparison. I can see it myself, but yeah, this one's just gone a bit silver now. So we have the nice gold one now um, and let me show you that extra chain, chain, no, uh, what's it called, this thingy, it's called the Zion Charm, that's the word I'm looking for, which is not really focusing on here is it, um, yeah basically that, oh my gosh, 
Oh, I could have gone terribly wrong. It's okay. Um, yeah, it's the Zion charm, which like you can put onto any necklace, but I have popped it in here for now. Something that I didn't show you in any kind of haul was this dress, because I didn't end up buying anything else from anywhere apart from Zara. Um, and this is a dress from H&M that has a tie around it and it looks really really flattering on it's really lovely um and it's quite a line it doesn't look it here but i had my mum um she took in the sides of it for me so it was more of a straight down it's not like glued to your body but it's more of a straight down one it's more flattering for me it's very bright by here isn't it i have to show you have to show you um, these Napco scrunchies. I've actually ordered two more pairs of pajamas because they're that comfortable. Because I have a pair of pajamas, but let me show you these scrunchies that I have because I cannot remember for the life of me if I have shown you them or not. Where is my white one? Okay, so this is the first one that I bought. It is silk. And this is a great colour for if you are self tanning <laughs> because I always put this one in my hair and I'm not too worried then if I get any tan on it because it's like that colour, you know. Um, but yeah, so I've got that one. And can we just talk about the packaging that everything comes in? So each like set of scrunchies, each order that you get comes in that. And then your PJs come in this. So what I'm tending to do is, I'm going to wear these tonight as well, so you will you will see them. Um, when my PJs need to wash, I pop them in the bag inside my washing basket so that when I like take that out then, um, I know that that's going to be like hand washed. So yeah, so this is the first scrunchie that I, that I ordered along with this here which is kind of a i think on the i'm not sure what this is called on the website but it's not the white one basically i've hand washed this as well since because i managed to get root spray on it when i had it like on top of my hair this is pretty um i had my hair up and yeah um but then i decided that i needed like, i needed a white one for <laughs> to match my pajamas so when I wear my white pajamas I can put my hair up with this so yeah just for color reference there is the difference between the two so yeah we've got the large one and then we have three more scrunchies so a small one like this like a white one we've got this color and we've got ooh, we've got a thread there a black one as well and may I say I feel like I've just got fake tan everywhere on the floor um that these the little ones I think are 12 pounds you need to have one silk scrunchie in your life because once you have one you will realize you'll just realize that you you shouldn't own any other scrunchies these are from the nap co so I will um place like a little like, link in the description box for you for them but uh, honestly I feel like I, can't, I think I said this in, in the last video but I feel like my hair's not snagging on anything now either so um yeah you need just get one you will thank me I promise you you need one of those I'm excited I'm excited to wear you later were you waiting for me Oh, well, I'm here now, baby. It's okay. Okay? Good. Okay, it's very warm in this kitchen. 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 Um, <laughs> I've ordered as well two masks. I finally ordered, like, a, a proper mask that with a filter, because um, my mum made us a couple, and we needed, like, Adam wanted a black one, because, you know, fashion and I wanted a like nude coloured one <laughs> so um yeah 
Um, I've ordered a couple of those. They should be coming this week. So that'd be nice if I can open those with you. And I've also ordered the filters. Did a bit of research online of which filters were the best. Ordered them from Amazon. It was something like 60 filters for, I want to say about 10 pounds. Um, so I will link all of those below for you if you're interested in those. I get to show you the new veg boxes that we've been ordering this week, the organic veg boxes that come. They're so lovely. They're from uh, River Veg um, Organic Farm. And yeah, they're really, really nice. And other things that haven't arrived yet are two little gold-plated, I didn't know they were gold-plated, I just thought they were gold-coloured. They were super, super cheap, I want to say about three pounds. <laughs> um, little flat metal, bookmarks that's the word I'm looking for so um they should be coming they're coming from a long way away though I want to say like at this side of the world so they'll probably be a little while and what else hasn't come is um the little piercing that you saw me do myself in this hole here ouch um I don't know if you can see oh it's turned around there but this is a straight earring so the back of it is just like poking out there so I need to get any, well, I've ordered one that's a nose stud. Don't know if it's gonna fit, but basically it'll come in and then the, the end of it will not be sticking that way. <laughs> we'll see, hopefully that works. Some kitchen items that we have. It's a big new basket in here for all of our like root veg and stuff there then this oh my gosh that's frustrating um this my lovely friends is a toolbox from amazon and i absolutely absolutely love it and we need something to put our condiments in and um, that was easy to pull out and everything wasn't like rolling around everywhere i wasn't keen on the idea of a lazy susan i wanted something to be a little bit more Oh no, structured. Um, yeah, so well happy with that. This is looking a lot more organized than it was before. And I also bought um, this pea protein to try and it's actually really nice because I'm pretty sure it's from My Protein and this My Vegan is part of My Protein. Is that what it's from? Yeah, from My Protein. So I bought a pea protein isolate and it's unflavored because I don't really like the idea of unflavoured things. You young lady had a reason we have to keep cleaning the countertops so frequently. Um, yeah, so if you're looking for something like that, this is really nice because it's unflavoured. I can pop it in quite a few things and it just kind of thickens it up a little bit. It's yummy. I've then, the hen from Ikea ordered more of these jars um, and I will use my label maker so there's one more to go here and I'm hoping that this one will look like this because at the moment everybody we look like this and that is not kitchen goals is it it's really not then come back down for me okay um, oh, my cute little watering can. The metal ones of these are so expensive, um, like ridiculously expensive, but I would like a silver one of these. I know, but it's not on the list to be buying, is it, soon? Because you brought your pen down. Um, we have babies to plan for. Um, my herbs were doing so well. I think you saw in an earlier vlog, and then I kind of forgot about them. And this was past the point of here, and this was past the point of here, and was flowering and was really high. Um, and then I chopped it all off, and then it started to die. <laughs> um, the rosemary's still doing okay, but this has this has just died. So, um, yeah. So I bought a parsley to go in here. I didn't get the coriander for the chives but I will do and I've got these then which I need to repot into here because I do like cooking with the 
stuff just right by here. I love the smell of them as well. I thought you might be a little bit impressed with me because I'm learning. I am learning to cook, okay? Albeit with the Thermomix, it tells you exactly what to do and what you do. Um, but let's look inside my fridge. Let's be like cribs, okay? Um, yes, let's do that. So this is a just lemon tonic that I've made with ginger and I do like to add, what's the orange thing called? Turmeric, <laughs> turmeric. Um, but Adam sometimes likes it plain as well. So we have got plain one here and I've also made enough to freeze. Then this is my own strawberry jam that I made, again, because the last lot that I made was really, really tasty. And then last night, I'll put a little insert on screen because um, I'm not going to do that now. But I made a vegetable soup and a focaccia bread. Is that how you say it? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's it was really yummy. But Adam wasn't, I think it was just too much for him. Some of you recommended this to me i know you did a while ago and we've only just got around to trying it and adam said somebody he follows um recommends it is that only one slice in there oh my gosh we had two packs of this adam keeps coming to the fridge and just literally grabbing a few slices as, as a snack he likes it that much um this tastes like i want to say like burger cheese um so the plastic cheese that's what i think it tastes like but it melts it melts so well like it melts beautifully <laughs> um honestly if you haven't tried this please try it because he likes this one as well but i'm not a fan of the coconut flavoring so that's why i preferred the applewood one so so nice Next to the fridge, we have some more Kenton Stowe items. And I can't remember what this one's called. One of these is called a hoe, and I'm not quite sure which one it is, but it's that one. Oh, are you investigating with me, Jones? Or if it's this one here. But um, this one's really good for like going around the stones, the paving stones at the back. And then <laughs> I don't know the difference between a spade or a shovel guys but it's curved at the bottom so what does that mean but yeah can you tell that i like that they all match <laughs> love them do you love them there's a fly here we don't was that no rude and gardening is an expensive hobby didn't realize that it was i thought it was just gonna be yeah bird dirt chuck some seeds in and it's just easy no it's expensive okay but we're kind of set up now, so let's see. Um, these are my glovies. It's a bit brighter now. Let's come down here. Um, I got these from a local garden centre. Are they Burgeon? I think is the brand. Burgeon and Ball, I believe. And they're quite nice, guys. They're nice gloves. So we got Adam a matching pair. They're like granddad gloves, don't they? I love them. Look rather posh and then in here i am a little bit obsessed with my basket um these are they take the, them back so road for dog attic farmers guys seriously go check them out see if they deliver to you and if you're in the uk um but let's talk about my basket i did not want a basket that was flat here because when we were harvesting I wanted things to stay in the basket. Obs. But this comes in so handy for weeding. It comes in handy for when I am deadheading the roses and we actually used it as a harvesting basket the other day to get some of our own rocket and spinach. So that was pretty amazing that we've been able to grow grow our own food and eat it um so within my basket we have a little kent and stow trowel 
<laughs> I'm like, is that the correct word? Um, this is what I'm using to dead head the roses at the moment. I know it's not as pretty. It's from Wix, but hey, it's working. It's the first one that I bought. And then, apart from some sticks for labeling with, and some seeds that came with my Gizu hair oil that I was a little bit impressed with. Um, the other pair of gloves that I have, now I will say that I tried to find rose pruning gloves, like ones with long arms basically, because I had the other pair first, um, that were vegan and I couldn't find them. And when they arrived, I actually felt a bit sick so that tells you how my brain is changing over the years. Sorry, it's a bit bright. Okay. Um, but yeah, these are long gloves. They are leather and they do the job of stopping the roses from scagging either my clothes or scratching my arms because once you get those stuck in you, they hurt, okay? But yeah, they look quite nice on. I just wish that I had a vegan pair. Um, if you do happen to know of anywhere that does any, and it's after my fertility treatment is finished, so I can afford it, yeah, please let me know. But I'll, I'll link these, but they are leather, okay? Then, I don't know if you know what these are, but Adam did the sweetest, sweetest thing, okay? So I'm a bit obsessed with watching the birds and ever since lockdown and we're going for walks like around um, the boating lake not too far from where we live i'm pointing that way as if you know what direction that is in <laughs> um but i love it when it's so peaceful and you can hear the birds and you can hear the sound of water as well so i've become obs i would say obsessed is the wrong word but i enjoy sitting and watching the birds on the roof and the trees at the end of the garden, they're flying around. And then a few days ago, we were sat having breakfast and a while back we had noticed a bird collecting loads of worms in its mouth. When, and when I say loads of worms, I mean, I don't know how it was fitting this many worms in its mouth. We were saying, oh, maybe it's a mummy bird or a daddy bird and it's going to go and feed its family and then the other morning when we were at breakfast we saw all these tiny tiny they must literally be like i don't know what species is the wrong one isn't it i don't know what type of bird they are but they're so tiny and they're just about flying around and they're landing on the shed roof a lot um and i was like oh my gosh look at them so we went out and we put some tiny little gluten-free bread crumbs. <laughs> Only the best for our birds, guys. Um, and we put some seeds, some pumpkin seeds and some chia seeds. Hopefully they're okay for birds. And then I went and I bought some bird seed. I'll show you the bird seed that I got. This is our pet cupboard and our drugs cupboard. Um, but yeah, this is the bird seed that we got and sidetracking these are great by the way absolutely great for put that down for older doggies this is what kaya has and it stops her leg shaking um and oops a daisy these are also amazing i think they're made of all natural stuff um but yeah adam found these because indy's breath is bad at the moment guys it really is and kota's breath breath is really bad too. So, because we were sat at the table, Adam did a same day delivery of some binoculars and I was like, that's so sweet. He's like, oh, I saw you watching the birds and I thought you might like them. So, I'm like a little old granny, guys. And these are my binoculars that have like two different adjuster thingies on it, one here and one here, so I can watch the little birdies. Yeah, and I can watch you too, yeah. I said in the last vlog that I had changed. I'm watching the birds, I am gardening, and I am cooking. 
I am not the same person that you subscribe to, okay? Yes, we still do hair and makeup over here and styling, but we also cook and garden and plant things in the kitchen and watch the birds, which is apparently my new life. Oh, this is new too. Um, I was looking for a little tubby, a little tubby, um, to pop the wooden things in. So apparently, if you cook with these, these are bamboo, I believe. Um, yeah, apparently if you cook with bamboo, it's better than cooking with metal or plastic. It's better for you. I don't know. Um, yeah, but this we got from the local garden centre as well. If I can find it online or something similar, I'll link it. So before we continue with a proper vlog, because let's make this a proper vlog, okay? I want to show you the last few things that I bought, which the front door is not open. We need a key. Um, yeah, I want to show you a few more of the gardening bits that we got. And one of which is, this one is my demon. If you've ever watched, is it the Golden Compass? And um, they can't be too far from you. <laughs> <laughs> she's my demon okay um yeah but this is the lavender that we got and we planted inside um yeah so it's white lavender i have a thing where i would love love all of the flowers in my garden to be white white is my favorite color to have accessories in and to like decorate with. Um, so <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, it would be really pretty if against the green and against the darks, we had like contrasting white. And you might know, please excuse the state of the grass. We, uh, we can't do anything about this. You know, we're in like a rented property. Um, but <laughs> these two here were apparently white roses when I bought them and planted them. Hey, they're growing, they're doing okay. Um, and we finally got an umbrella stand as well. But I could kind of show you from here, guys. Um, you can see where, see this kind of like mushy thing here. Our path used to be on the edge of here for some reason. We used to come across and then go to like this part here. So we painstakingly dug them out, dug the hole, and put them so that they're in a straight line, and hopefully they'll look a lot better um, when everything kind of like settles down again and when the grass grows back. Um, but this one is a little, oh, I need to clean the window. This one is a little white rose bush, which has only flowered once. Maybe I need to feed it my, somebody told me the other day, in a terracotta pot. I also have one on here. This is, the, if you just saw that, it's the fly cemetery, which I need to clean up because everything comes in here and dies. Um, and these need repainting. And then if I skim past, skimming skimming past the washing on the line, um, everything needs deadheading again. Um, I really need to water this this evening. It's gone really dry. Um, but yeah, we've got our rose tree here that does have black spot. Um, I made the mistake of putting the two smaller plants underneath this on the floor and all of this ran down so they all have black spot now. Uh, not good. Let's have a little look at our veg patch. I need to move this up. Is that going to damage the... Yes it is. Um, so we've put these horrible pieces of wooding, so the only ones that we had, <laughs> to tie the tomatoes to um, because they were crushing everything underneath. Our beans over here. Oh my gosh, this has really grown in the last few days. Our rocket, spinach. I would say our little gem lettuce isn't doing as well. It's a lot slower here. Um, yeah, so that's our spinach here. And then these massive ones here, they're our potatoes. And apparently they're ready to harvest once they flower. And then our carrots are starting to come along. Look at them. Um, oh, you can actually see in here as well, this is our irrigation system, which is really good. However, the water pressure, because we've run it for like in and out of here, and then all the way up the garden to the tap, 
doesn't the pressure isn't great We've got this little stony area here then that we're hoping to build a little rose planter in because this was kind of like mud before. <laughs> and then good old pebble dash in the UK. Um, I don't believe, do they do that anywhere else or is this just a UK thing? But it wouldn't be my choice, but hey, it's here, okay? Um, this thing then we got on Amazon and it just screws on, screws off like normal, but it's an irrigation timer so you can set it for however long you want it to. We've got it off at the moment because I found out the other day that if I've got the washing machine, oops sorry, if I've got the washing machine on constantly, um, it was just too much going on basically, my, my the pressure, I don't know what happened but this popped off. Um, yeah, so you have the one here that goes to the irrigation system and the other one that can go to your hose. Totally forgot to show you. I mean, I'm aware that the shed needs painting and things. <laughs> um, but this, this black bit here, is our compost bin. We've got a giant compost bin now. So, if we can start making our own compost um, and instead of like getting rid of the cardboard and the food waste so I've got this little I don't think you have to use a bag in it and to be fair it looks pretty terrible <laughs> right now um, but yeah this is a little compost bin that I won't show you inside but um, it's got a little um, what's the type of filter it's the black one is it carbon filter um, in there so we've got that one instead of our horrible giant one that we used to have. So we can put that straight in the composter. Um, we definitely need more brown materials in there at the moment. There's far too much food going on in there. So apart from a new shower curtain, <laughs> um, the only other thing that we haven't talked about that I have purchased is a scalp massager. Um, that may be one reason why my hair is growing so long along with the silk um but it's just one of those i thought amazon gimmick things and i thought you know what i'd love a little scalp massager because i feel like in the shower does your, does your scalp ever get tight because my scalp always gets tight and i feel like it needs like loosening up sometimes particularly if i'm stressed it gets really tight so this thing um, I'll put a picture of it on screen in case I forget to show you it. It's fab, honestly. It's like cheap, cheerful, great, great stuff. I'm not sure how long I have just babbled on to you for, but I'd love this to become now a weekly vlog. I don't want it to be just another me talking at you vlog. I want Adam in it. I want the pets in it, I want us to be doing things together, um, so hopefully the other things will arrive this week that I can share with you as well, because that would be nice. I really, I don't know why I'm so excited to show, show you the food, but I am, okay? I'm just excited to show you the organic vegetables because it's so nice, alright? Um, yeah. I like that little area. Do you win? And he's got hay fever. Oh my god, you look so fluffy from here. You look so. Oh, you didn't have to get up, beeps. You didn't have to get up. Okay. You've been eating. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got hay fever tablets. Because if you ever noticed, like the black runny bits on his eyes, he needed some hay fever tablets. Yeah, he did. I need a snack now, though and then i might shower and get into my pjs which time is 5 pm that's not too early is it or maybe i'll sit and do a bit more work i love that in the last video i was talking to you about how i'm not really eating a lot of meat substitutes and how we're eating a lot of veg we are okay <laughs> but i just really fancy like a naughty tea so we find these and they're gluten free guys i love waffle fries or crisscross fries whatever you call them so i'm gonna have the end of that packet with two sausages these are really nice from linda mccartney if you haven't tried these guys don't know why i went into a um Bristolian accent then uh 
and look what I find. Organic beans. I think they were like about 10p or something more expensive. Can't quite remember. But hey, if we're sticking to it to make sure that my body's as good as it can be, then we might as well do it properly. Um, so I'm going to have half a tin of beans, two of those, and the end of the bag, because I fancy it. And there's no better reason. I'm <laughs> sorry, I don't know why I'm from Bristol. I don't know why. Um, I worry, the inner workings of my brain, I worry that people will get offended if I do accents. Um, Adam does them all the time, he's amazing at accents. And whenever I do them, I'm not mimicking, like in a horrible way, the, do you disagree? <laughs> um, the, I knew you said the brand. <laughs> not mimicking the brand. I'm not mimicking the, the people from that area. But sometimes I slip into an accent or slip into a different accent. I don't know why it happens, but sometimes it does. I just worry that I'm gonna annoy people or I'm gonna offend people. Anyway, back to food. sofa waiting for my food to cook in the oven and totally forgot to tell you that I now have a PO box um I was always giving brands my home address and another reason why I was so apprehensive really to work with anyone because I'm quite I'm quite careful I think I'm quite careful anyway. But I used to have a PO box ages ago, but it was based in the next city because I couldn't find one in the city that I'm from. So whenever we wanted to go and collect things, they were it was bad. They were only open for like certain hours of the day as well. And some times we would go there during the opening hours and it, they would be closed. Um, so it was slightly annoying. Um, so yeah, so we're going to try this one. This is a Royal Mail P.O. box. So we're going to try this one. But um, if one of my favourite things I've ever received was like a little letter from one of you guys. And um, I still got that. So you didn't like my memory box. So I'll have to dig that out. But yeah, if any of you, not for brands, but if any of you want to send like a little letter, um, that would be so nice to read. Um, and I've put like a little disclaimer in the description box to say that if um, anyone does want to send me anything to go through like the normal way that they would or that they have been doing by contacting me first and check in that it's something that um, would fit with my channel instead of wasting your products um, yeah so that's quite exciting I think to have like a little PO box going and I've had a notification that Adam's mask has shipped and also my PJs are going to be here tomorrow. Ah. I'm a little bit excited about that guys, I'm not going to lie, I can't wait to show you. Thank you. 
good morning everyone it is the next day my hair is looking rather flat today even though i've put some dry shampoo up here to make it a bit more voluminous we don't know why that's happening but i've popped on this dress today I'm not going anywhere <laughs> but just because um i wanted to feel nice so yeah and also my tummy will be out here very soon so i thought hey let's enjoy it whilst we can um i also don't have any lipstick on at the moment um so that's why i might look a little bit funny okay i've had a change of clothes <laughs> um i've just filmed two videos basically and um quite proud of myself because it's been a long long time since I've sat down and filmed a video and now I'm just thinking I've left this jewelry on because I really like it and I hope I hope that my video about it goes live before this does otherwise this is not a good good time um, I'm just gonna place on my bangles and things again though and maybe my little dainty necklace um, but if you haven't seen that video this jewelry, let me just might, might as well just type it. And um, this jewelry is from an amazing brand. You need to go and have a little look at them. They're called Anna Luisa. I've got a 10% off code that I will leave on screen and in the description box below if you follow this link to the website as well. And um, prices start from £36 and they are an amazing brand basically. They're, they're sustainable, they use recycled gold. Um, it's tarnish free and long lasting as well and the piece some of the pieces that they've got they've got um, lab grown diamonds as well honestly you need to go and have a little look at them if you haven't done because I'm like raving about them jewelry is back on I've had a little delivery guys it is my pajamas I'm gonna try these on for you tonight but we're going to unbox them right now. Okie dokie. Let's get into this and see what we got. We have got... I love that they come in the bags. I mean, you can't really see me right now. Is that better? Nope. Okay, we're on a cushion. You're on a cushion, guys. Okay, so what we have here is... Two new pairs of pajamas! Which ones shall I wear tonight? Okay, so inside we have the nice paper that they come in with their little sticker and it says thank you for your order. Nice. Okay, let's open this up. Ooh. You know when you like something when you see the picture and then then you open it in real life and it's even prettier than you thought it was going to be that just happened oh, it's so pretty this is the color rose how beautiful is that color it's not like too pink and oh it's just so pretty and i think with this one i chose to have my initials on sleeve i actually like it on the sleeve the la the white ones that i have i've got it above the um top pocket here but it's really nice really nice on the sleeve how nice are they honestly once you sleep in something like this it feels like it feels better than skin actually um yeah so that is the top and then the bottoms that go with this all of their bottoms have a beautiful tie around the waist so um they're elasticated and they've got i did that nothing then did it because it's tied to tight um but yeah as you can see they're so so comfy they've got the stitching around the bottom as well to match but oh i might wear the rose ones tonight oh so nice honestly if i could just sleep in this brand's pajamas for the rest of my life I would and I only find this brand through Victoria McGrath's suggestions on the silk scrunchies that's how I found them and I was like those pajamas look nice that pillowcase looks nice that's how it started we can blame her 
Okay, so that's number one. Then we've got number two. So I used to have a pair of Primark like satin, they weren't really satin, I don't know what they were made of, um, pajamas. And they, I can't remember what happened to them, but let's just say they were not great, okay? Um, excuse me, young lady. That's my, she's obsessed with tassels. So these on my trousers need to go inside. So let's pop that up there. Yeah, so we've got the second set, which is a black set. Tuny knocked you over then. Okay, but how beautiful. It's your mousy babes. Are the black ones as well. These are going to be great for when I'm tanning at night as well because I can still sleep in pure comfort just without having just without having tan everywhere basically. But yeah, the black ones as well, honestly, honestly amazing. Just amazing. You want to play with the mousey? Yeah. You ready? You ready, babes? Ready. Go. Okay. Why can't you pick him up? Kiki. Kiki, babes. We do it again. You ready? You ready? Yeah, does anyone else play fetch with the cat? <laughs> do you want to do catch? Will you do catch today? Will you perform? Ready? <gasps> oh no, we were too late. We want to play fetch instead. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. We want to play fetch. Yes. This one moves today? Mm-hmm. You're going to come into my lap? You can come and sit here if you want to. I have to move in a minute. You can come and sit here. Yes. Yes. Don't show the audience this, please. This is not appropriate. Ouch, there's my toeses. There's my toeses, honey. Okay, the lighting is a bit orange in here. Let me just open the curtains. There we go. Have them closed so that's getting changed. But if I haven't shown you these before, these are the white ones with the grey piping with my initials here and these need to go in the wash because I've worn them for two nights but they're just so they're so lovely they're so comfortable honestly guys I just popped the rose ones on so let's go have a little look how gorgeous is this colour I love it let me take off the slipper so you can see the bottom Oh guys, it's so so nice, so comfortable, and there's my little my little name. It's not focusing. There we go. So nice. Yeah, it's like what's the time? It's quite early. It's five past four. I want to be cozy, okay? But. I'm going to end the vlog here and I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to make sure all of my footage is on here so that you get well, this video this week. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for watching and um, if anything else gets delivered I will make sure that I add it in the future vlogs for you to see. But yeah, thank you for watching and um, Take care, make sure you have a really nice day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.